And we're back with another Pico CTF challenge. This time, password crack one, general skills. Description, can you crack the password to get the flag? Download the password checker here and you'll need the encrypted flag in the directory too. I'll download both of those and drag them onto my desktop just for ease of use. And then we get some hints about viewing and about the code base. So let's go ahead and let's run this. So we'll say Python 3 level1.py. Please enter the correct password for the flag. I'm going to say, please subscribe. That password is incorrect. So next steps are examining the code. We'll open it in VS Code, and we'll read from the top. I tend to collapse functions initially, just because uh, I don't need to get into them. Eventually, you get into more detail, but initially, you just look at things. So, starting from the top, what we can see is we open up the flag encoding file and we store the results in flag underscore uh, encrypted. And then we call this function. So now is a good time to look at this function. We take user input. So we ask the question, what is the correct flag, correct password for the flag? And if we get the result 17AC, we say, welcome back your flag user. And then we run this function up here which seems to do an XOR based decryption and we print out the contents of that file. So let's go ahead and let's run this now, giving it 17 AC. I'm gonna run without debugging. This is the exact same as running Python 3 uh, from the terminal, just a little nicer in here. I'm gonna put in 17 AC. And you can see we get the flag. The whole purpose of these exercises, these are kind of getting your feet wet with uh, doing some general development and reading of code and things like that. So uh, as general thoughts, I would encourage you again, kind of start at a high level and don't dig into the details until you absolutely have to. So for example, this string XOR, we don't have to figure out what it's doing at this point. All you really needed to know was you're prompting for user input, and if you give the proper input, you'll decrypt, and then you'll print out the result. Hopefully that was helpful. Thanks, bye.